colleagues, it's time for us to resume our meeting, and we've also formed a quorum. Let's proceed with uh, part two of our meeting. Dr. Fernando Chung, thank you, Chairman. As Hong Kong lacks effective systems for segregation of wastes and waste sent to our incinerate uh, may not be suitably disposed of in accordance with FC Procedure 37A, this committee urges the administration to undertake to actively implement a system for waste segregation and to produce a checklist for substances not to be incinerated before the construction of incineration facilities. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results and 7 for, 13 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang, to ensure the safety of incineration, the administration must strictly regulate against the incineration of certain wastes. In accordance with 37A of the FC procedure, I move that this committee urges the administration to legislate to regulate the operation of incinerators. The content of uh, such laws should include which authorities to implement supervision and prosecution, and the administration should explain to the LegCo the timetable of such a regime before continuing with the construction of incineration facilities. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results, 6 for, 15 against. I declare the motion negative. To Mr. Dr. Fernando Chang. At present, the administration has not drafted and made public the tendering details of incineration facilities, which involve huge public interest. Therefore, the tendering process must be highly transparent and be implemented fairly and justly. In accordance with paragraph 37A of the FC procedure, I move that this committee urges the administration to make public the details of the tendering documents to ensure that there's a high degree of transparency to conduct the tendering exercise in a fair and just manner before proceeding with this project of incineration. Chang 八個月裏邊的升幅是四十二億,即係二十八個%。按呢個比例,如果分發路用八年時間興建呢,係需要一。The increase in eight months was four point two billion dollars, that is twenty eight percent. Proportionately, the incineration facility will take eight years to construct and will need one hundred and twenty eight percent. That is. 7.2 times the original proposal to construct. In accordance with 37A of FC procedure, I move that this committee urges the administration to strictly monitor the construction progress of the incineration facility and provide specific methods to avoid serious overspending. 
Voting now begins. Uh, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Results 10 for 14 against. The motion is negative. Dr. Fernando Chang, after the incineration facility is completed, every day 3,000 tons of garbage will be sent to Sheku Chow, and sea transport arrangements will involve certain impacts. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that this committee urges the administration to, together with uh, the Marine Department formulate specific trans traffic impact study report before continuing with this construction project of incineration. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 9 for, 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang. Incinerators must continuously operate daily. When the weather is bad, sea transport will be affected and there is a possibility that the incineration will be affected. In accordance with 37A of the FC procedure, I move that this committee urges the administration to formulate uh, arrangement guidelines for the dumping of waste by sea transport during bad weather and typhoons before continuing with the construction of incineration facilities. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. So voting results 11 for, 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Fernando Chang, after the incinerator is completed, sea transport is relied upon to transport waste to the incinerator. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that this committee urges the administration to formulate contingency measures for waste containers falling into the sea and for collision of waste vessels to ensure that under sudden incidents, the incinerator can still operate as normal. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 11 for 16 against. I declare the motion negative. Ms. Emily Lau, Chairman, in accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. This committee requests the administration to, before completing the effectiveness and efficiency review of the tricolor recovery bins withdraw the funding application in paper FCR 2014-15-34A. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting now closed. Display the results. 12 for, 15 against. Motion negative. Assembly Lau. Chairman, according to 
37A of Rules of Procedures, I move the following. This committee urges the government to complete the statutory procedures for Lantau South oh, uh, Marine Park and Soku Islands Marine Park before proceeding to the first phase of waste management facility. We'll now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Please display the results. 10 for 15 against, I declare motion negatived. Ms. Emily Lau. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure, I move the following. This committee urges the government to ensure to not include imported waste. The government should withdraw the funding application under FCR 2014-15-34A. Proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Let's display the results. 9 4, 20 against motion negative. Assembly now. Chairman, there's something wrong with the machine, the voting machine. Is it okay now? It's not turned on. We'll proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Please display the results. 11 for 22 against. I declare motion negative to Ms. Emily Lau. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures, I move that this committee request the government to withdraw funding application under FCR 2014-15-34A before they can ensure that the customs can provide decoration on imported and exported waste in terms of the operational procedures and the forms for exportation to ensure that waste is exported as declared. That is 139. We are on 140. That was the last one. Okay, I will read out 140. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure, I move the following. This committee requests the government to withdraw the funding application under FCR 2014-15-34A before they can set up a certification system for the recyclers and waste exporters. We now proceed to the vote. Please verify your vote. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 11 for 21 against. Motion negative. Miss Emily Lau. This is 141. 
According to 37 AF Rules of Procedure of FC, I would like to move the following. This committee demands the government to withdraw funding application under FC R 2014-1534A before it can confirm whether a third incinerator will be built in Sanjian within the shorter term and carry out the necessary environmental impact assessment on Hong Kong. We we'll proceed to the vote. For announced results, please verify your votes. Voting closed, let's display the results. 11 for 21 against, motion negative. Assembly Lao. According to 37A of Rules of Procedures, I move the following. This committee demands to the government to withdraw funding application under FCR 2014-1534A before they can re-establish the contracts with the cleaning contractor and allow the contractor to do recycling from the waste they collect to step up the strength and effectiveness of such recycling resources. Proceed to the vote. Before I verify the results, please. Before I announce the results, please verify the votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. Thirteen four twenty one against. Motion negative. Assembly Lao. According to thirty seven A of Rules of Procedures, I move the following. This committee demands the government to, as soon as possible, promote a levy on waste to completely change the attitude of local citizens in dealing with domestic waste. Before that is implemented, the government should withdraw funding application under FCR 2014-15-34A. Mr. Chek Karlok, you are next. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 44-23 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Chenkalo. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The development of Waste Management Facility Phase 1 involves reclamation at Sheku Chao, an artificial island of 16 hectares and um, jetty of 650 meters long. I demand that the Environmental Bureau should carry out comprehensive assessment on overall ocean ecology, water quality, impact on the seabed, the coastline and also finless purpose and set up monitoring mechanism and report to LegCo on a regular basis before proceeding to this work. We proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify your votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 13423 against motion negative. Mr. Chen Kalo. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure for FC, I move the following. 
phase one of the waste management facility bracket 1770R. The government stated during funding application that the artificial island would be connected with Shekuchau in order not to affect the land ecology and they will protect the coastline and relevant coral clusters and there will be a waterway separating Shekuchau and the artificial island. I would like to ask the government to first clarify how segregation is to be done, how the impact on the coastal line and land ecology and coral clusters will not be affected. They should set up a monitoring mechanism and report to LESCO on a regular basis to ensure that they are all well protected before proceeding to the project. Let's proceed to the vote. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 13-4-23 against. Motion negatived. Mr. Shankar Long, thank you. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The um, administration during funding application for 177DR stated that there will be mitigation measures concerning the facilities impacting on the finless purposes to acceptable level. But there are social views showing concern that there will be serious nuisance caused to the finless purposes because of the works project, uh, the operation and also transportation of waste. I demand the government to clarify such acceptable level in terms of its standards and levels. I urge the government to set up a monitoring mechanism and report to LESCO on a regular basis to ensure that the um, ecology will not be affected for fitness purposes before proceeding to the plan. We now proceed to the vote. Please verify your vote. Voting closed. Please display the results. 13421 against. I declare motion negatived. Mr. Shankalo. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The government pointed out during the funding application under 177DR that the Waters where finless purposes are found will change according to different seasons. And there are mitigation measures proposed by the EIA to minimize the impact, indirect impact on the purposes. I demand the government should spell out the details of such measures, how many purposes will be affected, and the effectiveness level before proceeding to the plan. We will now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify the votes. Voting closed. We display the results 13 4 19 against. Motion negatived. Mr. Shankalo? Thank you. According to 37 Air Force of Procedure of FCI, I move the following. $120 million would be involved for Project 177DR on environmental mitigation measures. I demand that the government should list out clearly the details of all the measures, effectiveness and the expenses, and set up monitoring mechanism for all the measures to ensure that the environmental impact by the project will be minimized. They should report to LESCO on a regular basis before they proceeding to the plan. We we'll proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 13 4, 17 against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Chancarlo. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. When the government applied for funding for 177DR, they pointed out that. 31 hectares of habitat for finless purposes may be lost forever because of the proposed artificial island. 
EIA proposed that in the water between Shekuchau and Soko Islands, 700 hectares of suitable space should be allocated as marine park and the administration will carry out marine park study. I ask the government to first complete the marine park study and formulate the details of improvement measures to improve ocean equality, ecology before moving ahead with this plan. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. 13 for, 16 against. Motion negative. Mr. Chen Kalo. Thank you. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The development of 177DR will, uh, the use of certain facilities would lead to Um, ionized gasification technology should is preferred by the community. The government should conduct assessment on both technologies and report to LegCo before proceeding with a plan. Proceed to the results. Please verify your votes. Voting close, let's display the results. 11 4 19 against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Shankalo. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure FFC, I move the following. Because of the um, lower level of usage of fossil fuels to generation power, there will be less greenhouse gas emission under. Project 177DR. Community views believe that incinerating facilities should use ionized gasification technology instead of the mobile grade technologies. I urge the government to clarify on the emission reduction impact for both technologies before proceeding to the plan. We'll proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify your votes. Voting close, let's display the results. 3419 against, motion negatived. Mr. Shankarlo, thank you, Chairman. According to 37 Air Force of Procedure of FCI, I move the following. During funding application for 177DR, the administration pointed out that phase one will meet European standards for gas emission. I demand that the administration should formulate a mechanism to, on a regular basis, review the latest and most stringent facilities and emission standards and report to LegCo on a regular basis before they proceed to the plan. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed, let's display the results. 12 4 17 against. Motion negative. Mr. Chen Kalo. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. When the government applied for funding for 177DR, the government pointed out that the facilities will be installed with advanced uh, gas purification system to ensure that the emission level will meet EU standards. I demand the government to formulate a mechanism and regularly review internationally most updated and in terms of the um, gasification technologies and report 
the results to Leshko before they proceed to the plant. Voting starts before I announce the results. Please check your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 12, 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that because the government is developing um, the IWMF Phase 1, 177DR. When it made the application, it points out that this area is only a few kilometers away from um, the neighboring areas. I ask that the government to set up air quality monitoring system in southern Lantau, Changchao, and all neighboring areas. And only when these are done can the project start. Voting starts. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 12 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1, on Project Number 177DR, and 480 million units of surplus electricity will be transmitted to the existing power grid. The government is now discussing with the power companies about the possibility of connecting the facilities to the existing power grid. I urge the government that all these arrangements should be confirmed and the results should be reported to LATCHCO before the project can be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 12 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A of the Finance Committee, I move that as the Islands District Councils ask the SAL government to before implementing Project 177DR, make arrangements concerning emission level, district liaison, compensation for fishermen, and building community facilities. And the administration points out that only when the funding is approved, then the requests of the Islands District Council will be followed up on. I urge the government to first make a positive response to the Islands District Council's request before the project is implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 12 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A of the Finance Committee, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DL, and it will affect a voluntary drug treatment center in the vicinity of the site. The project will destroy the quiet environment of the center. I urge, I urge the government to study whether a similar environments can be provided for the relocation of the center. And only when the government has done that can a project be implemented.
We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. 11 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A of the FC procedure, I move that as the government is developed the IWMF Phase 1, Project Number 177DL, and is now applying for funding, and it says that um, it will be building uh, facilities and educational as well as social facilities, and these facilities will be uh, bringing economic benefits to neighboring islands. So I want the government to clarify what areas will benefit and the relevant economic benefits be analyzed before the projects can be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. And we now display the results. 11 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kala. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DL, and it will affect the water quality and marine ecology of the neighboring area. I asked the SAL government to establish a monitoring mechanism for the water quality and marine ecology, and regular reports should be made to the LegCo, and only after doing that can a project be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 11 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 7, uh, 37A, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 uh, Project 177DL and now is seeking fundings, but these facilities will involve the creation of an artificial island and and what a sea area of 31 hectares in the southern part of Hong Kong will be affected and a rich uh, fishing area in that area will vanish forever therefore i ask the government to assess the impacts on the fishermen's livelihood, Hong Kong's fishing industry, and marine ecology. A monitoring mechanism should be set up and relief measures should be in place and reports should be made regularly to the LegCo before such a project can be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. 11 for 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DL and is now seeking fundings, and this will permanently damage a fishing area of 31 hectares. And the government says that this only accounts for a small part of Hong Kong's fishing area, thus its impact on the fishing industry is acceptable. I asked the government to provide data so as to explain that the marine resources will not be significantly reduced because of the facilities and the impact is only minor. Only after doing that kind of project be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 12 for 17 against. I declare the motion negative. 
Dr. Chen Kalong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 7, uh, 37A, I move that as the government is uh, trying to develop the IWMF Phase 1, Project 177 d hour now is seeking funding. And it says that um, it will be launching relief measures, and this will help make the um, fishing resources in the vicinity richer. I asked the SAL government to provide data and explain to us clearly that the marine resources, in particular the uh, amount of fish, will not decrease. Instead, it will increase because of the facilities. Chairman, now I have become a representative of the fishing industry, and the representative of the fishing industry is not here himself. He should be supporting my motions. I cannot see him. We now proceed to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 11 4 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalong. Thank you, Chairman. Well, the representative of the fishing industry should be here. I think he is one of the laziest member. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that. As there are views in the community saying that the development of the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DR will unavoidably have an impact on the fishing industry and uh, fishing activities in Hong Kong, I ask the SAL government to um, ask the accountable officers, LegCo members, industry representatives, and um, Green advocates to form a working group, and they should be responsible for consultation, liaison, and monitoring, so that all stakeholders' views can be reflected. We now start voting. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. Turn for 16 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kala. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is uh, developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DR, and it says that um, less municipal solid waste will be put in landfills, I ask the government to clarify what are the relationships between these two types of facilities and relevant uh, uh, assessment benchmarks should be provided, a monitoring mechanism should be set up, and it, the government should report to the LegCo on a regular basis before this project can be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. 11 4, 16 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DR, and it says that this is one of the links in the waste management strategy of the government. Other measures and policies, such as the charging scheme for uh, municipal solid waste and the $10 billion recovery fund, well, for all these, we don't have the details yet. So I asked the government to give us the relevant details, and such policies and measures should be reviewed on a regular basis. And it, this all this should be reported to the LegCo on a regular basis. Only when all these are done can the project be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. Eleven four seventeen against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as the government is now developing 
the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DL and its sticking fundings is waste management system must gradually reduce the amount of municipal solid waste to be put in landfills. I asked the SAO government to explain to us how the above objectives can be achieved and its relevance timetable and details and the progress and effect should be reviewed on a regular basis. The results should be reported to the LACCO and only by only after doing so can the project be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the result. 13 for 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalo. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that as TSAL government is developing the IWMF Phase 1 Project 177DL and is now seeking fundings. The Government says that it will be conducting strategic surveys on waste management. I asked the government to let us know the timetable and details concerning the survey. And after the survey is concluded, its result should be reported to the LACCO. Only after doing all this can the project be implemented. We now proceed to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. 11 4 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that I ask the Secretary for Environment to work in accordance with the Chief Executive's election platform, which was announced in 2012, that is to adopt a policy which is led by uh, waste reduction at source so as to ease the pressure on landfill or building incinerators. So, relevant policies and measures should be formulated and a review should be conducted on a regular basis. Only after doing all this can the IWMF Phase 1 project be implemented. We now proceed to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 11 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that I ask the Secretary for Environment to work in accordance with the election of the CE's platform, in, which was announced in 2012. That is. Uh, re the recovery industry should be promoted on the basis of implementing a recycling economy concept. So the should policies and measures should be formulated, and these should be reviewed comprehensively and on a regular basis. Only by doing, only after doing all this, can the project of IWMF Phase One be implemented. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 11 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Dr. Chen Kalok, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move that. I'm asking the Secretary for Environment to carry out what is promised in the election platform of the CE in 2012, that is, to implement waste producer responsibility scheme 
and the scope of the uh, product's eco responsibility ordinance should be expanded gradually. The relevant policies and measures should be formulated and implemented, and re reviews should be conducted regularly and comprehensively. Only after doing all this can the project be implemented. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 9 for, 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC Procedure 37A, I move that this committee request the Secretary for the Environment to, in accordance with the CE's manifesto in the 2012 C election enhance the voluntary recycling scheme of the recycling industry to implement specific and practicable policies and initiatives and regularly and comprehensively review those policies and initiatives in their cost effectiveness before studying how to implement uh, this IWMF phase one project. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 11 for 18 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move that the Secretary for the Environment should, in accordance with the manifesto of the CE in the 2012 CE election, implement a campaign to eradicate food waste to encourage the industrial and commercial sectors to segregate waste on site and to implement specific and practicable policies and initiatives and regularly and comprehensively review those policies and initiatives in their cost effectiveness before studying how to implement this IWMF phase one. Voting begins before I declare the voting results. Members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 8 for, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move uh, that uh, as the SARG applies for funding for this uh, IWMF phase one, points out uh, that uh, the artificial island neighboring Sheku Chow is a conducive position to as the collection and transportation of waste uh, may impact hugely on sea transport in the neighboring areas. I request the SARG provide data to illustrate the government's position and on these facilities how to conduct assessment studies on the impact on sea transport before proceeding with this project. Voting begins. Uh, before I declare the results, uh, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Voting results is are displayed. 9 for, 19 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move that uh, as uh, the SARG is applying for funding for this project and points out uh, that the facilities will include seawater desalination on Chakotau, I urge, I request the administration to provide more information on desalination 
such as technological details, disposal volumes, uh, estimated cost effectiveness, and the impact on neighboring waters, etc., before considering this project. Voting begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results, 11 for 19 against. Uh, I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move that as the SARG in its funding application points out uh, that uh, the sewage treatment plant included in the project will be included in the project. I urge the administration to provide in terms of this uh, sewage disposal plant more data, including technological standards, sewage recycling volume, estimated cost effectiveness, and possible impact to neighboring waters before considering the implementation of this project. Voting begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Uh, 10 for 18 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the facilities include mechanical sorting and recovery. I request the administration to provide more information in relation to the plant, such as technological standards, disposal volumes, estimated cost effectiveness, and impact on the neighboring environment before considering the implementation of this project. Voting begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Results 10 for 18 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding proposal for this project, 177DR points out uh, that the facilities will include some small facilities to supplement the management of marine parks. I request the administration to provide more information about such facilities, such as operational details, estimated cost effectiveness, impact on neighboring waters, etc., and formulate monitoring mechanisms and regularly report to LegCo the effectiveness of such facilities before considering the implementation of this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 11 for 16 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the facilities will include an environmental education center and related facilities. I request the SARG to provide more information about the center and facilities, such as operational details, expected number of visitor trips, uh, this, the impact of visitors to the neighboring environment and the ancillary transport facilities to the center, etc. 
before considering the implementation of this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for, 17 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG points out in its funding application for this project, that the project will include a huge program for tree planting for greening purposes. I request the SARG to provide more information about tree planting, such as the number of trees to be planted, the location of the trees, the species of the trees, uh, environmental impact, etc. Before considering the implementation of the project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the administration aims at making the facility an infrastructure project that matches the surroundings. I request the SARG to provide more information such as vetting the standards about matching the environment in the vicinity to ensure that the facility will not be incompatible with the neighboring environment before considering the implementation of this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for, 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the proposed works will create 3,250 vacancies for workers. I request the SARG to provide more information, such as the work nature of the jobs created, the establishment, etc., for the reference of members, such that we can consider whether or not we should proceed with this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for, 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the Proposed works can create 700 professional or technician posts. I request the SARG to provide more information, such as the work nature of the jobs, the establishment, etc., such that members can refer to them and consider whether or not to implement this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. 
Display voting results. Voting results 10 for 20 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARJ in its funding application for this project under 177DL points out that the proposed works will provide 80,500 man months of job opportunities. I request the SARG to provide more information, such as the work nature and establishment of the related posts, etc., for members' reference, such that we can consider whether or not we should proceed with this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARJ in its funding application for this project points out that the proposed works and their operations will create 53 long-term posts for the workers. I request the SARG to provide more information, such as the work nature and establishment, etc., of these jobs for members' reference, such that we can consider whether or not we should proceed with this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results 9 for 22 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in its funding application for this project points out that the proposed works and their operations will create 147 professional or technician level long-term posts. I request the SARG to provide more information, such as the work nature and establishment, etc., of these posts for members' reference, such that we can consider whether or not to proceed with this project. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, members, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results, 9 for 21 against. The motion is negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in his funding application for this project points out, that the proposed works will create 3,950 posts. I request the SARG to, in terms of air quality during the construction period, study the formulation of uh, working guidelines to specify that the air quality index should be 7 or above. And failing that standard, all workers should immediately stop working in order to protect their health. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chan, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the SARG in 
is funding application for this project points out uh, that the Islands District Council requested the administration to undertake that during the operation of the facility make public the emission data for public monitoring. I request the SARG to specify what data would be made public in what forms for the easy proof zone and understanding of the public. We now proceed to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Let's display the results. A4 and 22 are against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chen. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move that while the administration pointed out during funding application for 1770R, the Islands District Council requested the government to undertake that during operation of the waste management facilities, there would be emission data made public for public monitoring. I demand the SAR government to set up roadside air quality monitoring stations in Chongchong to step up the air quality monitoring work. We'll now proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify the votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 6 4 20 against. Motion negative. Mr. Chen. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move that the administration has pointed out during funding application for 1770R that the Islands District Council asked the administration to undertake that during the operation of the waste management facility that emission data will be made public for public monitoring. I demand the government to set up in Changshao air quality monitoring stations to monitor the potential impact on air quality. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Let's display the results. 7, 4, and 21 against. Motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chen. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. When the administration applied for funding under 1770R, they pointed out that before the uh, implementation of the work, the Islands District Council requested that there should be a liaison group involving local residents. I demand the SAR government to spell out the composition of the group and proportion of different representatives and how the members are selected for our reference so that we can consider if we should move ahead with the plan. We'll proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 7 4 18 against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Ken Chen. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The SAR government pointed out during funding application for 1770R that. Islands District Council asked the government to undertake that before implementation of the plan, there should be a district 
liaison group set up. I demand the government to spell out the representatives for the group, the proportion, so that we can use the information as reference and consider if we are to proceed with the plan. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is closed. We we'll display the results. 6 for and 18 against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Kenneth Chen, according to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FCA, I move the following. The SAR government pointed out during funding application under I 1770R that Island District Council ask the government to undertake before finalizing the plan that district liaison group should be set up. I demand the SAR government to consider appointing accountability officials under the Food and Health Bureau to be a member of this group so as to pay attention to the health impacts on the public coming from the proposed work, formulate targeted policies and measures to protect the public's health. Mr. Leung Kuo Hong, you are next after this one. There should be one more, yes? Yes. We'll proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. Let's display the results. 8 4, 18 against the declare. Make it to Mr. Ken Chen, thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, members of the public are applying for judicial review on 1770R. The applicants has already provided the application for to the Court of Final Appeal, and the government has pointed out that it will not wait for the completion of the judicial review in order to satisfy the greatest interests of Hong Kong. I would like to ask the government to explain the definition and how they have calculated what is the greatest interest of Hong Kong for our reference before we consider if we should proceed with the, pre uh, the project. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 9 4 and 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Leung Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move that since the government is pushing ahead with the development of Consolidated Waste Management Facility Phase 1 with strong objection, I this committee demand the government to expedite a verification system for waste recyclers and exporters to ensure that all the recovery rate is correct. Please speak into your mic. Thank you. Yes, you are my older brother. No, I'm not. You are the older brother of uh, another person who is very accommodating. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 8 4 and 19 against. I declare motion negative. Mr. Lung Po Hong. Thank you. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government is pushing ahead with the development of the waste management facilities, phase one facing strong objection and Appeal is ongoing for judicial review. This committee demands the government to clarify that they will pay respect to judicial procedures in future planning work. 
and they should wait for the completion of the JR before we should scrutinize the funding proposal. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Display the results. 8, 4, and 21 against. Motion negative. Mr. Lung Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government is pushing ahead with the development of consolidated waste management facility phase one, facing very strong objection, this committee demands the government to consult uh, all the stakeholders and members of the public and green groups on how to use the one billion recycling fund effectively. We proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 7422 against. I declare motion negatived. Mr. Long Kong Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. The government wishes to push ahead with the development of consolidated waste management facility phase one, facing very strong objection. This committee demands the government to set up a monitoring mechanism with statutory powers involving representatives from the residents and also the council to monitor the operation of the landfill and incinerator. Proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. 9, 4, and 23 against. Motion negative. Mr. Lung Kuo Hong, thank you. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the development of consolidated waste management facilities phase one under strong objection, this committee demands the government to uh, formulate incinerator ordinance and set up independent supervisory procedures outside of the EPD with necessary penalties to more comprehensively monitor the operation. We'll proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify your votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 8, 4, and 22 against. Motion negative. Mr. Lung Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. One minute is not enough. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FCM, move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the waste management facility phase 1 under strong objection, this committee demands the government in the future, clearly explain all the academic reasoning and background for health risk assessment work for public scrutiny and reference.
We proceed to the vote before announcing the results. Please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. Nine four eighteen against. I declare the motion negative. Thank you, Mr. Lung Kuo. Thank you, Chairman. According to thirty seven A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the development of waste management facility phase one on a strong objection, this committee demands the government to legislate to stipulate uh, all the penalties in relation to the incineration list of items. We proceed to the vote. Please verify your votes before I announce the results. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. Nine four twenty one against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lung Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to thirty seven A of Rules of Procedure of the FCI, I move the following: Since the government wishes to push ahead with the development of waste management facility phase one under strong objection, this committee demands the government to. Provide monitoring of all the relevant parameters other than weight and also amount of suspended particles so that we can step up monitoring work for PM 0.1. Proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting closed. Let's display the results. Eight four and nineteen against. I declare motion negative. To Mr. Lin Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to thirty seven Air Force Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the development of waste management facility phase one under strong objection, this committee demands the government to regularly. Conduct independent studies on the health assessment of residents in Changsha and Shekuchao for reference of the local residents and also this council. <laughs> we proceed to the vote before I announce the results. Please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 8 4 21 against. I declare motion negative. Ms. Wang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure FFC, I move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the consolidated waste management facility phase one under strong objection, this committee demands the government to submit a report to have a study on waste collection work uh, of the FEHD and Environmental Bureau. <coughs> we proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is closed. Let's display the results. 8420 against. Motion negative. Mr. Long Kuo Hong. 
Thank you, Chairman. According to 37A of Rules of Procedure of FC, I move the following. Since the government wishes to push ahead with the development of waste management facility phase one under strong objection, this committee demands the government to submit a report to have a study on the feasibility of sending kitchen waste to assist local fishing industry. Start voting now. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 9 4 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rules 37A, I uh, move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, this committee should urge the government to. Give us a report explaining whether the FEHT refuse collection points can be expanded and be retrofitted into a small scale community recovery center. Now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the result. Nine for twenty one against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kwok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule thirty seven A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWM H against strong objection, this committee asked the government to submit a report. That is a feasibility study of changing some of the vacant secondary and primary schools into NGO run recycling centers. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. Nine four twenty against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kwok Hong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule thirty seven A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, the committee should urge the government to submit a report on a feasibility study as to whether commercial and domestic waste should be mandatorily sorted. We'll now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 10 for 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kwok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, the committee should ask the government to submit a report 
um, assessing the future strategy for the recovery work of electronic waste. We now proceed to the votes. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 9 for 21 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee should urge the government to submit the following reports. That is, assessing the future strategy for recovering waste timber. We will now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We will display the results. 10 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee should ask the government to submit the following report. That is the work of recovering glass and is future strategy. We'll start voting. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. Nine for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, this committee urges the government to submit a report that is assessing the um, civic education on waste reduction and to develop a more proactive educational program. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the result. <coughs> 10 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Chairman, thank you. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, this committee asked the government to submit a report assessing the um, waste 
recycling content in the primary and secondary educational curriculum, and a more proactive educational program should be promoted. We will start voting. Before I announce the result, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We will display the results. 9 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Guahong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, this committee asked the government to submit a report analyzing waste reduction and recycling indicators and their relationship with incinerator operation mileage. Now start voting. Before I announce the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. We'll display the results. 10 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kwok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH, Again, strong objection. This committee urges the government to submit a report reviewing the hypocritical green strategies concerning marine parks and greening works and authentic environmental protection principles should be established and this should become the core concept for the EIA in the future. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We display the results. 9 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Guahong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee asked the government to submit a report explaining the government, the government's uh, cooperation with the CLP in the coming years when it comes to the electricity generated by the incinerators, and this was, should include tariff estimation, justifications, and any agreement arrangement and arrangements. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed and will display the results. 9 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative, Mr. Lang Kwa Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMH against strong objection, this committee asked the government to legislate to regulate the MTL stations so that all the refuse bins and recycling bins would be placed by each other in an orderly manner.
Now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed and we'll display the results. Nine, four, nineteen against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, the committee asked the government to legislate and regulate all the eateries in Hong Kong. All the rubbish bins and recycling bins should be arranged with a proportion of one to one. We'll start voting. Before I announce the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed and we'll display the results. 9, 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lam Kong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee asks the government to legislate so as to mandate all the shopping malls in Hong Kong and they should have refuse bins and recycling bins in place, and the proportion should be one to one. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed and we'll display the results. 9, 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with Rule 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee asked the government to legislate to regulate country parks and rural areas and to stipulate that the amount of waste recycling facilities cannot be less than the amount of ordinary refuse collection points. We now proceed to the vote. Before I announce the results, please verify your votes. Voting is now closed. We now display the results. And it's 9, 4, 18 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lam Kwa Hong. Chairman, in accordance with 37A, I move the following. As the government is still trying to develop the IWMF against strong objection, this committee asked the government to legislate and to stipulate that Inside government buildings, the amount of refuse collection facility cannot be less than the amount of ordinary refuse collection points. We'll start voting. Before I announce the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed and we'll display the results. 
9419 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Ho Ho. Mr. Long Ho Ho, in accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move that as the government forces this project upon us, I suggest the government increased greatly the number of collection points for glass. Voting begins before I declare the voting results. Please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 8 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Lang Kwa-Hong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move the following motion. As the government forces this project upon us even if we strongly opposes it, this committee requests the administration to increase greatly the number of collection points for electronic wastes. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display results. Results 8 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Kwok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure paragraph 37A, I move that as the government forces this project upon us, even at our strong objection, I move that this committee request the administration to undertake to comprehensively launch the policy of recovering glass bottle deposits. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for 20 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Kwa Hong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FCA procedure, Part 37A, I move that as the government forces this project upon us by triggering it even at a strong opposition. This committee requests the administration to undertake uh, to comprehensively launch the policy of glass bottle recovery. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results, 8 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Kwa Hong, thank you, Chairman. The Pan Democrats, please come down quickly. 
In accordance with uh, FC procedure, para 37A, I move that as the government, even at our strong opposition, still forces the triggering of this project on us, this committee requests the administration to legislate and the FEHD to erect garbage bins for recovery facilities in the ratio of one to one. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. Voting results 8 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Kok Hong, thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, para 37A, I move that uh, as the government still triggers this project, even with a strong opposition, this committee requests the administration to immediately study and formulate laws to require that the food waste of the commercial and industrial sectors should not be dumped at our landfills. Voting begins. Before I declare the, vote, mo the voting results, please check your votes. Voting ends. Display voting results. Voting results 8 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. In accordance with FC procedure, para 37A, I move that as the government still triggers this project at our strong opposition, this committee requests the administration to immediately study laws to require that no food waste should be dumped at the landfills. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display results. Voting results 9 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. To Mr. Long Kok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. In accordance with FC procedure, para 37A, I move that as the government still triggers the plans for three landfills extensions and one incinerator at our strong opposition, this committee requests the administration to submit reports to explain that uh, how the government would specifically handle accidents that involve the vessels transporting wastes to the incinerator. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display results. Voting results 9 for 19 against. I declare the motion negative. Mr. Long Kok Hong. Mr. Chairman. On behalf of all members, I'd like to pay tribute to you because you are really working hard. In accordance with FC procedure, para 37A, I move that as the government 
still triggers this project for the three landfill extensions and one incinerator. Even at our strong opposition, this committee requests the administration to submit reports to explain the where the residual toxic ashes would go. Well, after this motion, we'll take a break. I wish members a very happy holiday, particularly our secretariat colleagues and the officials. I hope that starting from next year and after this holiday, our colleagues won't give them so much work. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display results. Voting results, 9 for, 18 against. I declare the motion negatived. Thank you, colleagues.